Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we're going to laser engrave this cutting board which makes for a great gift for someone that loves wine. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we begin I just wanted to let you guys know that this particular item is on sale so if you want to engrave your own gift or if you're looking to sell these to make a little bit of money uh, you can find these on my Etsy shop in the link below. Okay with that being said Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make this design in Illustrator. If you don't have Illustrator, you might be able to get away with this in something like Word or maybe like in Photoshop. Uh, so essentially what you need is a JPEG that then can be imported into your laser engraver. And then that's what we're going to be end up doing it. So we're gonna go ahead and take it from Illustrator into uh, Photoshop and then make a JPEG out of it. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm using a $250 um, unbranded DIY laser engraver, pretty affordable that I got off of Amazon. It was only $250 uh, and it does the job pretty well. It's not great for mass production, but in this case we're doing one or two pieces so it works, our, it works out perfectly. After we input the design, uh, we have to find the location of where the imprint's going to be. So there's a little button that gives you a range, which gives you the outline of the size of your design. And then utilizing that, you can kind of um, center that um, in the location that, that you want on the board. Usually what I do is I print um, the exact same design I'm going to laser engrave. I cut it out, put it on the board. And then following the range, I make sure, um, you know, moving the design or the laser head up and down, left and right, I find um, the exact location of that, you know, design following the edge of the design, making sure it falls uh, directly on the cutting board. Uh, after that, all you have to do is remove that little paper and hit go and it'll start engraving. And that's pretty much it. Now we have to wait until the machine finishes engraving, which may take about 30 minutes. Uh, like I said, this is not great for production. I have worked with other machines that take about a minute and a half to do the same design. Um, but this is uh, more of a, of a home uh, laser engraver, which will take a little bit of more time. Uh, so in the meantime, you can start working on another project. Uh, for now, we're gonna go ahead and let this run and come back when it's done. Awesome, and there you go guys. What do you guys think? I love the way this came out. Um, the reason why I like this, it's uh, why I like this machine rather is because it's a little bit slower. Yes, it does take a little bit of time, but because it takes its time burning the design, uh, what it's actually doing is it's also burning the actual wood. Um, there's some laser engravers that work real fast and you can actually uh, carve out the design faster but it doesn't leave the burnt color so you wouldn't it won't be as dark as this one good so it just varies uh, from laser machine to laser machine and how you want to have your your finished look to be so other than that hopefully you guys like this video it was a real short video like I said I have these cutting boards on sale uh, in my Etsy shop so if you want to go ahead and sell these yourself um, I'll be more than happy to uh, give you a special discount if you're buying in bulk um, also this is available if you, if you want mass production if you want you know, 500 pieces and up I can also facilitate that uh, so hopefully I'll hear from you guys soon and I'll see you in the next video